Hi everyone, I'm Julie Webb and welcome to another edition of UC Tech Chat. Today I'm joined with Brian Ferguson. Hello, Brian. Hello. And we're going to be talking about from auto attendant to IVR. So Brian, auto attendants have been around for a long time. Can you explain what an auto attendant is and how people typically use them? Sure. So you're right. Auto attendants have been around for decades now and companies use them to help with their call routing. And it really helps them save money because they don't have to pay for a receptionist to to manage their calls. So anytime you call into a company and they say it says press one for sales and press two for support, that's a basic auto attendant. And typically auto attendants do just about that. That's that basic call routing just to eliminate the, the need for um, that personal attention up front. So typically people have heard IVRs. What's the difference between an IVR and an auto attendant? Sure. So IVR kind of takes things to the next step. So IVR is interactive voice response. So anytime that things get a little more advanced, like your voice gets involved and you say, you know, please say the, the name in which you're talking about instead of pushing numbers, that's an auto attendant. Or getting more involved with um, time of day uh, routing and integrations with other systems. That's how IVRs really kind of separate themselves. So can you go a little bit more in depth of some use cases, how people use IVRs? Sure. So there's there's lots of ways that people use IVRs today. Something simple as um, pre-programming all your call routing for holidays. So um, you can put things into uh, your phone system that says anytime on December 25th, Christmas time, I want all my calls just to go straight to my voicemail message and that's it. Whereas on December 26th when we come back to work, everything goes back to the way that it was and it's not a manual process so it makes it easy. I remember um, days when I used to work in retail, we'd have to use our phone system and follow this big long script and lots of different button pushes to figure out how to get things changed. None of that really needs to happen anymore. Everything can be automated. Now you can do things like payment over the phone. So, you know, we, we can enter in our credit card numbers and make payments over the phone. We can put in our account numbers and spit back our account balance. Remember, we used to call banks before with mobile yes. applications. You could do that with, with IVRs. So lots of really cool advanced things. So I've heard of some pretty creative ways that people are using IVRs. Can you give us some examples? Yes. So we have um, we, uh, several of them out there. One where uh, we have auto dealerships and, and service agencies that are putting in their ticket numbers and putting in their status for their repairs. We have um, schools that are um, allow you to put in your students or talk, say with your student's name to make sure they got to school okay and make sure you can get their student records that, that get spit back to you. So anything where you'd have some sort of automation and you have the information as a company and you can get that to your user or your customer in an automated way, you can use an IVR for that. That's super cool. I'm sure students probably don't appreciate how efficient that they, is for mom and dad. And <laughs> I don't think so. Whether no. school, but it's good for businesses Certainly and not. for educators. Absolutely. Well, thanks. This has been very informative. Great. Thanks for joining us today for UC Tech Chat. We look forward to seeing you next time.